Some of you might be wondering um, how you can go through and do some performance um, checks on your system, see really what all's running on it, um, how it's running, um, things of that sort, you know, memory usage, all that good stuff. Uh, a lot of you hopefully are familiar with at least Task Manager in Windows. Um, if you're not, you can right click on an empty area on your taskbar, bring up Task Manager and you get a little screen like this. Uh, what this will show you is all your applications running. Basically what Windows says is an application. These are usually just icons that show up down here for you. Um, you also have the Processes tab which is going to show you more detail about what's actually running on your system here. Um, each individual process you're going to see. I can hear all these SVC hosts um, you know VMware service in my case since I'm running this in a virtual machine for XP um, spool service all that and you might not know entirely what all these are but you do see memory usage and you can sort by you know the CPU what's using the most CPU time what's using the most memory things of that sort and you know you got your performance tab you can see which one of your processor cores are being used more than the other um, page file memory usage total memory that you have in your system, the available memory, all that good stuff. Uh, it's a very basic, useful tool for figuring out what's running in your system. Uh, if your system is running slow, um, if you have a hard drive light, first thing you want to do is take a look at that. Because um, if the hard drive light is blinking like crazy, uh, that means it's using your hard drive a lot. Uh, and that can be one possible reason right off the bat is you could be low on memory so you can open up task manager check your physical memory here uh, check the total memory that you have and then the available memory that you have uh, this is telling me that I have basically 780 some odd uh, megabytes of RAM in this virtual machine and that I've got 570 of those free which is good as plain memory um, you can also look up here and see your page file usage and mine right now is 151 and this graph here basically shows you out of your entire page file that's set aside how much of it you're using if you see this um, bar on the left here in a high percent you know up towards the top there uh, you're using a lot of page file you might want to try increasing the amount of RAM in your system um, this line graph here corresponds with it basically shows it over time uh, same thing with physical memory here if you see it's available uh, physical memory is low I'm talking about probably around less than a hundred megabytes you might want to try upgrading your memory especially if it's really low less than 20 megs uh, you want to go ahead and do that uh, as you can see it shows um, fifth uh, 570,000 I said so that's basically 570 megs um, it's rough math math there because this is all in kilobytes it doesn't show you megabytes it shows it in kilobytes so roughly a thousand kilobytes equals one megabyte if you want to be more exact it would be a um, thousand twenty four uh, you can free up memory by closing out extra processes they're running you can use task manager to go through easily see the processes that are taking up the most memory you know like Internet Explorer here is taking up 20 megs of RAM uh, you can just go on through and either close it out manually like that and you'll see that just freed me up about 20 megs or you can go through check the applications list you don't see it in there you might have something else um, it's kinda like a background program something like that um, some programs you're going to see like spool SV here you probably don't know what that is but that's for your printers um, you can go through turn off services you don't use um, I could probably shut that off on this virtual machine because I'm never going to do printing with it but I just leave it running for the sake of um, consistency on what I'm showing people now you can go through check all that stuff and it might look fine for you the processes look fine you don't see any odd processes that are out of the way you've closed things out but your system still runs slow you don't see activity with like your um, hard drive light 
so you can go over to performance again check to see if anything's using a lot of CPU time if nothing's showing up odd there you can look under here under processes you know, click that CPU column it'll show you an ordered list um, by CPU usage and even then I've seen cases where it doesn't show you what all is running I mean it shows you yeah your CPU is only using like four percent um, you know up here in the process but you look down here at CPU usage and you're seeing like 50 or 60 but nothing shows up under CPU usage or anything like that so that's where programs like Process Explorer comes in it's a free download uh, from System Internals uh, you can go through and uh, download that for free I'll provide a link over on the right side for that and on the website and what this program does is it actually shows you each and every single process and what that process has spawned so in this case we can see that when logon which is your login screen has spawned the services process which has spawned several services I can tell you that most of these here these SVC hosts are probably going to be little background programs um, you know some updaters things of that sort just because it's SVC host doesn't mean it's always a bad thing um, as you can guess by a little kind of yellow pop-up help box there it tells you a little bit more information about it if you put your mouse over it uh, in this case this SVC host is the DCOM server process launch this one uh, this one here is the remote procedure caller and this one here as you probably just saw is covering a lot of things so it kind of shows you what some of these services are if you don't know what they are like spool service what is this oh, print spooler VMware service what is this tool service um, it can quickly show you things of what they actually are so if you were to check your management applet sorry uh, you could actually go through match these up and you know terminate them there if you wanted to um, and then there's something incredibly useful here I find is if you go under system auto process you see interrupts here um, if you have uh, a system that has like let's say a bad motherboard uh, or a bad piece of hardware connected to it your um, interrupts time system time um, you're going to see these jump up you want to see very high amounts of CPU time on that because Windows is sitting there trying to figure out what it's supposed to do um, with this piece of hardware that's not working right. Is it supposed to respond to this? Is it supposed to respond to that? It, it can't figure it out. So if you see a high amount of CPU usage there, I would say anything really over like 5%, you've probably got some kind of bad hardware going on. I've actually seen it get higher numbers like 50, 90, uh, even sometimes just 100% of your CPU, if that interrupts time is being fully used, dominating your system, start checking for bad hardware about it. Uh, you can actually go through, customize your view um, in Process Explorer to do this. Um, to get this working set and peak working, you want to go under, you know, right click like I did there, bring up properties, go under process memory and check working set size and peak working set size and say OK. Uh, what this will show you is your actual memory usage uh, for each one of these programs in your system. You, know, you can expand it out. You can see all the memory usage there. The more important thing is peak working set. Um, this is the highest amount of memory that the process used. We can see that the print spooler is using 5,500 kilobytes and at its peak was using 5,700 kilobytes what that tells you is at some point this thing uses more memory than what it currently is now so if you were having slowness issues at the moment and you're seeing that several programs are using a little bit less memory and you see that the peaks are even higher that can help drive you to directing your focus even more to maybe having to buy more RAM or um, having to close out certain processes 
And finally, I was going to show you one last feature. Uh, let's say you have some spyware on your system where you're getting some pop-up messages. You're not really sure what's causing that message to pop up. If you click on this icon here, you have to click and hold it. Um, it'll let you kind of go through and drag over a program that might be up on your screen. And you simply just release it and it highlights it in the process explorer so we can see that this uh, bar down here the taskbar is part of explorer.exe uh, so that's it for this video on showing you how to use the task manager in process explorer I uh, hope this video was useful for you if it is uh, please subscribe and check my website out and until next time I'll see you later